Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Fred Coker. How important is the relationship of New Hampshire to the United Kingdom? Well, it's very important, but before we go to those facts, let me tell you and show you what's happening to exports in New Hampshire overall. For 2010, these numbers just came out, 4.37 billion to 168 countries. Global sales up nearly 43% over 2009, all-time New Hampshire record and the highest increase of all states. Now, how about the United Kingdom? It is one of our biggest trading partners, the fifth largest. New Hampshire exports to the United Kingdom in 2010 up 63%. 250 New Hampshire businesses export to the UK. We also have uh, college relationships. Dartmouth College has a relationship with the London School of Economics. UNH with Lancaster University. Keene State Un uh, College with the University of Derby. Plymouth State University with the University of Winchester and New England College with Regents College. And we also have sister city relationships in the UK with Exeter, Portsmouth, and Rye. With me to talk about all of this is the Consul General for the United Kingdom in New England, Dr. Phil Budden. Welcome. Thank you, Fred. Nice to have you here. Good to be here. You've made New Hampshire a priority this year. Why so? Well, I have. The economic relationship is clearly already strong between the UK and New Hampshire, but we think it could be stronger. Mm. Now, I represent a new government from Britain, and one of its key priorities going forwards is prosperity. How do we help businesses to develop as we come out of the economic downturn? Mm -hmm. And we've decided there are more commercial opportunities to be had between the UK and New Hampshire. What specifically? Well, we've been looking at the results. We saw the exports today, and these are clearly very strong. We've also seen very strong investments in each other's company, countries. Mm -hmm. And today I went to see Timberland, a great New Hampshire company that has invested in Britain. Mm -hmm. It produced its earnings today and had great results. And a large part of that, according to their CEO, was the fact that they've got such good business in Britain, 20-odd stores, great market in London. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you, of course, BAA Systems, a yep. British company, one of our biggest. Definitely. Um, very proud of this British company, which has found a home here in New Hampshire, has about 4,600 employees. How many people in New Hampshire work for companies from the UK? Well, it's remarkable, Fred. 10,000 New Hampshire residents a day go to work for a British company. That's interesting. And uh, the relationship between New Hampshire and the UK is probably, overall, the strongest we have. And, that come, and I say that as a business person here in New Hampshire. Um, You've just visited those companies, and, uh, and there, but there are a lot of other companies that want to do business with the UK. How do they do that? Well, we're going to partner with New Hampshire and indeed those companies to find ways to help them grow their businesses. Mm -hmm. By making New Hampshire more of a priority, I'm going to be coming up here more regularly. Um, I'd like to work with the companies that are up here, hear from those that are thinking of expanding overseas, and have a chance to talk to them about why they might want to consider exporting to or investing in Britain. And we're going to put, in just a minute, we're going to put a, some contact information up. The recession has hit your country hard and our country hard. Um, but coming out of the recession, uh, what do you see as the areas, uh, and I think one of them is security, is it not? Indeed. For in trade uh, opportunities between our, your country and our state. That's exactly right, Fred. We think the high-tech sector, which is strong both in Britain and in New Hampshire, mm -hmm. is going to be key going forwards, and particularly in that space is the safety and security companies. The safety and security companies. Let me just ask you, as you know, uh, we had the, uh, the BP's oil spill down on the Gulf, and that was a hiccup, and then, of course, we've had some issues in uh, Iraq and Afghanistan, but despite those issues and despite even some differences between our two countries, this relationship never seems to... Uh, uh, weaken. It always seems to be strong. Why is that, do you think? Um, I think the relationship between Britain and the United States is strong for many reasons. Uh, just today, um, the palace in London has announced that President Obama will be making a state visit mm -hmm. to the United Kingdom. We have the highest level political contacts, but also we have great relationships, both between our militaries, but also between our economies. We were talking today about the extent of the UK-New Hampshire economic, economic relationship already. I believe we can deepen that relationship as part of the broader special relationship. And here are the contact points. I let them put it up on the screen. A phone number to your office in Cambridge, Massachusetts, where you reside. And then that long uh, website address. Uh, we'll leave it up there long enough so you can write it down if you have a pencil or pen. And I want to thank Dr. Phil Budden, who is Consul General uh, for the United Kingdom to New England. Thank you. Thank you very much, Fred. It's a delight to be here. And you can see this interview again at WMUR.com. Just click on Project Economy.